Hi everyone, Wally Nichols with the Asset Guidance Group weekly update for the week ending September the 2nd, 2022, and we're right on the cusp of Labor Day weekend. So next week will be a short trade. Uh, we will be closed on Monday, but as will everybody else, so the markets, right? And you'll be on vacation anyway. Um, so, so the day started off with some good news with a jobs report. Uh, the indexes ran up, uh, hit the 50 days, then came back down. Right now, as we sit with just over two hours left and about two hours and 20 minutes left in the trading day, uh, all the major indexes are at uh, have fallen back down to the open. Now, part of this was because I think people have had more time to digest the information, therefore the euphoria of the good jobs report uh, wore off. And this is an interesting twist on things. A good jobs report was actually a bad jobs report, but bad news because unemployment increased was actually good news for the markets because that the conventional wisdom was the, the thought was that uh, that news would cause the Fed to maybe reconsider uh, its continued interest rate hikes. I think I think everybody is getting into the uh, notion that perhaps that's not probably how that how that uh, ends up turning out necessarily. The Fed's going to have to have a little string of data that shows that they uh, that that they need to tail off because they've been fooled before and they're not going to they're not going to. Uh, changed course until they have solid data at this point they uh, are just now rebuilding credibility so they have to stay the course uh, that's part of it also the news uh, came in uh, from Europe that the Nord Stream 1 pipeline has been shut down completely so most of Europe right now is uh, frozen out of natural gas we're just beginning to get into the fall season and then of course winter's coming so that's going to throw uh, some extra risk into play and uh, perhaps some of that news is being digested by the markets. So, nevertheless, all of the indexes have, have come back down. Uh, right now for the Dow, we'd we'll be looking around the 31,000, uh, 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 31,100 uh, levels somewhere, somewhere in those areas. 30,000, 30, I meant to say 30,000, around that 30,100, 30,200 area. For the uh, S&P 500, the 4,700 uh, areas is what uh, I'll be watching out for. And then for the uh, NASDAQ, you got to watch out for the around that 11,000 region. Uh, that's when things, uh, uh, that, that would be uh, the levels that uh, we would be watching. We're sitting on a lot of cash right now uh, and uh, made some uh, earl earlier moves right now. If you're a client, I'll send you a separate uh, 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 email and video and explain a little bit more about that in detail. But rest assured, this weekend you're safe. All is good. Don't expect a lot of the good news to come in over a long weekend like this. Um, we'll see how we'll see how uh, you know September starts in earnest next week. This is the second day of September, but it's really just the end of the August. So we'll see how things. Uh, uh, turn out uh, the next, you know, the next week. It's uh, it's the end of the summer. We're almost completely rebuilt here in the office. We've got a little bit more in the kitchen to go this evening. Uh, the contractors are going to get here and hopefully finish that that up uh, by and large. And so we'll be able to have people in again and resume normal operations. All right, very soon. So, in the meantime, you guys have a wonderful Labor Day weekend. Make it the best. Stay happy because we know that's the key to longevity.